hello and welcome back for another edition of WLIN Announcements. Before we start today, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone that's continued to stream and watch these videos. Thank you for everyone that's made them possible. And to everyone watching this, thank you. I have no idea why you continue to watch me, but I appreciate it. And in fact, I hope that in some way, these videos are bringing some enjoyment and some laughter and even good times to your life during these difficult times. Let's start this week's announcements with our words of wisdom with Mr. Langnan. Good morning, Red Lion Area Junior High. This is Mr. Langnan with a few words of wisdom. Many of you know the story of Anne Frank, a young Jewish girl who lived in hiding from the Nazis during World War II. She lived in the midst of a true nightmare, yet she didn't give up her belief in the human spirit. Now listen to her words. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. Today, remember this. We can start to improve the world around us in this very moment. How? By simply giving ourselves and others a little love, encouragement, and understanding. So don't waste any time today. Make the world a better place simply by being the best you can be to yourself and to others. Remember, moment by moment, person by person, we can improve our world. With something to think about, this is Mr. Langan. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Miss you all. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Last week's weather seemed a little bit off, but we've called him back once again, and here he is, Mr. Barry, with our weekly weather. Mr. Barry? Barry, we're live. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Barry, we're live. Oh my God. Are we live? Oh, yeah, we're live right now. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, the weather for Saturday is sunny with a little bit of clouds, and Sunday we're going to see some rain. Uh, okay. Yep. See you guys. I don't know what just happened, but I know whoever the camera guy is, he's getting fired. Somebody's getting fired. We were live that whole time. All right, that wraps up weather. Has the only workout you've been doing is lifting your bag of Doritos while you binge watch yet another episode on Netflix? Well, here's Mr. Hermits to help inspire you to get up off that couch and get back to working out. Hey there, Red Line Junior High. This is Mr. Hermans with your exercise of the week. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> hey there, Red Line Junior High. This is Mr. Hermans with your exercise of the week. Our exercise today is what we call a dead bug. Starting off, we are lying on our back. From there, raise your knees until they are over top of the hips. With the knees over the hips, pull the toes up and in towards the body. One of the most important keys to performing this exercise is making sure that the lower part of the back is pressing into the floor. We are going to then extend our opposite arm and leg, tapping the heel on the floor and extending the arm over the head, and then returning to the starting position. Continue alternating each side while maintaining the pressure of the lower back into the floor. This exercise can be modified to be a little easier by keeping the legs bent as they are lowered to the floor. A great way to help create that whole body connection is to take a rolled up hand towel or a rolled up t-shirt or maybe even a super band if you have one. We will use a t-shirt in this example. First, get a really good grip on that shirt and then pull it apart to create tension in the upper body. We then perform the exercise, remembering the important cues, 
To keep the lower back pressed into the floor, pull the toes up and in towards the body and create that tension through the hands by pulling the shirt apart. So enjoy this great core exercise, the dead bug, and remember, stay active, stay healthy. Thank you, Mr. Hermans. Another great exercise for us to incorporate into our daily routine. Next, we go to a person that, well, they need no introduction. A controversial figure that loves to stir the pot. Mr. Strayer, we're so glad you were able to join us again to give us a sports update. There's a lot on the agenda. Let's jump right into it. What do you have for us? Well, first, I want to give you an update uh, on the draft feedback I've been receiving, and it's been overwhelmingly positive. Um, this this artiste, worm man, I don't I don't understand the venom he's spewing. <laughs> um, all I would like to say to him is, fortunately, my feelings regenerate at twice the speed of normal man's. So you can say what you want. I'll be okay. It's not my fault that your general manager's mind is going a mile an hour. Uh, wow. That was, it almost seemed like that was written uh, in a book. And uh, I'm sure you've probably written it on a blog or a forum out there on the internet somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's somewhere out there, Josh. Okay. I love that. So you're getting a little feedback from the draft. But beyond that, what else is going on? What can we look forward to sports-wise this weekend? Lots of ping pong out there, Josh. Uh, like last week, I mentioned the uh, forward thinking of Red Lion Junior High. And once again, when I flip through ESPN or uh, Fox Sports or any of the local sports channels, I'm seeing lots of ping pong coverage. Uh, you're going to see champions like Andrew Bagley and Lu Wan. Um, but more importantly, we have a local champion at our school, Jared Flay. Uh, there was once a scoreboard tally that I think the, the tally was like 86 wins for Mr. Flay and like nine for Mr. Herman. So, you know, I feel it's my duty to, to tell Mr. Herman's, you know, instead of corkscrewing your hands into carpet, maybe you'll want to work on practicing those uh, ping pong return because what you're doing right now is not working so um let's let's hammer this out and uh good for red Lion junior high for ordering those extra 75 ping pong tables to be set up now do you think though just looking at this a little bit do you think mr hermans has an off-season workout plan and he's actually begun working out so while it may seem like he's working out his core what he's actually doing is working out the hands getting them loose for those backhand returns. I feel that's a real, that's a hot take, Josh. Uh, the corkscrew into the carpet may help him grip the handle of the paddle more. And speaking of all season uh, conditioning, you know, it's been amazing that I haven't gotten any emails about coverage during this time. You would think that in a pandemic, our staff might not be up to the task of fulfilling their lesson plan writing. And I would get maybe three, four, five emails for coverage is needed, Josh. I check my email frequently and I have yet to get one email about coverage being needed for period nine. Please sign up. And you know, someone else you never see coverage being needed for is the media specialist. He always has it on lockdown. Um, I've heard about that before. So he is one healthy man. Yes, he he trains to lift books and media all day long so that when it comes to the regular season, he's ready to hit the ground all year long. Now, coverages aside, any last thoughts on sports topics for this weekend? Well, there's a couple things that I'd like to throw out at you. Um, being a sportscaster on a national level, would I rather be feared or loved? Easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me, Josh. And one last thought for Red Lion. I wish on March 13th there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually. <laughs> Could who would say something like that? I know um, you're too smart of a man to say something of that low level. Did 
did, were you bribed to say that? Was there is there a conspiracy here? I uh, there's no conspiracy here, Josh. No conspiracy whatsoever. I try to make all people feel welcome to this sportscast. Sportscast. Okay. Um, well, whoever said that uh, they should. I believe his name was Andy. Andy. Okay. Whoever. Yeah. Well, Andy should realize that you're always in the good times, and you don't need to look back. You should be looking forward. I think that's that's how we live our life here at WLIN. Josh, I'm just happy to be a participant and be able to participate. Redline community, th community, thanks for your support. Stay safe, and we'll be back with a, uh, a new sports update next week. Until then, keep turning left just like NASCAR will this weekend, Josh. <laughs> what happens in NASCAR if you turn right? Uh, not good things happen, Josh. Not good things. That's why you're the sportscaster, and I am just the host. It's what I do. It's what I do. You know all the details. Thank you again, Mr. Strayer. And My pleasure. Tip in NASCAR only turn left. Bad things happen if you turn right. Never would have known that. Thank you. You're so welcome, Josh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. Schreyer. Take care. <laughs> Mr. Schreyer, once again, providing hot takes, being quite controversial when it comes to sports and throwing in some quotes. Are you having a tough day? Has it been a long week? Well, check out this week's series of good news from teachers and students. My good news is the sun has been shining, we get to hang out with our family at home, and we still get to go outside and run, ride our bikes, and do whatever we want, just not around people. This is our greenhouse. In here we have many different plants, from garden plants and flowers to house plants. We have tomato plants, cabbage, squash, pepper plants, and many more. We have Flower plants, also snapdragons, petunias, columbine, bachelor buttons, asters, and many more of those. The garden plants will be going into our garden soon. The flowers, we have already planted some of them at our new house. Others are being put into hanging baskets that will be hung on our new front porch of our new house. Here at WLIN, we hope that you enjoyed those good news videos from our community. 
Next, we have a segment that needs no introduction, two people that need no introduction themselves. They always have us on the edge of our seat. Here they are to announce our pride drawing. Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Conor McGregor here. Um, first of all, I would just like to thank the Academy for absolutely nothing. I'm here because I'm self-made. Forget all of you. It's about me, baby. But seriously, thanks for letting me do the nominees for Best Motion Picture of the Year. The nominees are... Run, Forrest, run! Did you hear her? Why aren't you running? Run! 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 No, I said run, Forrest, run, you! I'm not Forrest. I'm Mr. McCola. for this for the 75th time Everybody, you know the deal. Put your mask on, okay? Put your mask over your eyes, because you can't look up in the sky. We also can't breathe in the air anymore. So go, go ahead, cover up. All right, I think we're ready to go outside. I don't want to go for, oh my God, my nose is broken. <laughs> Well, it was really great chatting with another tiger. You're a real swell guy. I hope you have a good weekend. Whoop. Look at the time. Gotta run. Take care of yourself. Have a good one. I mean, I understand your argument, and I respect your opinion, but when it comes to the best tiger of all time, hands down, Tony the Tiger. And that's not taking anything away from what Tiger Woods has done, but, I mean, you just got to look at the facts. Serial, king over everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess so. Hi, I was just in here, and I forgot to pay for this here croissant. And I would like to, to have some integrity and do the right thing and pay for it. Oh. Oh, dude, well, um, are, you, are you okay? Oh, my gosh, medic! Medic! Hey man, just like you asked, I got that book for you. You can take a look as long as you want. You can always depend on me. Thanks, dude. Oh, 
Oh, hey, buddy. I just wanted to introduce you to my fiance here. We're engaged. And the Academy goes too. Pride Committee Pride Drawing! Pride Committee Pride Drawing! On behalf of the Pride Committee Pride Drawing, we have Dakota Walton, Alyssa Rosario, Falcon Billet, Brian Bariner, Riley O'Brien, Sal Ferranti, Willa Faree, Corinne Smith, Emma Paul, Carly Thompson, and Ambrosian Wilson accepting on their behalf. Come on down! Yes! Yes! This is the Pride Drawing Pride Committee's first Oscar. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, first of all, uh, I'd just like to thank my mom and my dad.